your girl, Dr. Shauna. Can you hear me now? <laughs> So now that we are here, we can go ahead and talk about this cell phone. I got my peoples coming on. Y'all like family to me. I love you guys. But anyway, listen. So I already opened it. I couldn't wait. This is the box that it comes in. And it has this tape that goes around it. So I had to open up the box. I couldn't wait because I needed to get the phone on. And inside this box in particular, is where all the Sims cards were. So I got an envelope. I haven't opened this envelope. It's probably a bill. Who knows what this is, an envelope. I'm gonna open it right now with you guys. So just to see what it is. Oh, how cute. It's a little new activation. It tells me about my account. It lets me know the zip phones that you can put over, but we're gonna talk about that. And then it comes wrapped. So we gotta get the bubble paper out. I'm not gonna throw out the bubble paper because my kids love bubbles. And it comes in this little box, as I'm sure that many of you guys can. Now, this is only if you got the free phone that came along with it. So since I always want a business cell phone, and I don't know why, because I'm not going to give it out to anybody that's considered a patient of mine. Um, I don't want that much access to me. But nonetheless, it is a free cell phone, so I took it. And a free cell phone comes with let's open up the box it comes with the phone itself it has a sims card that comes with it this is the phone this is a free phone it's a neptune it's a droid it's a free phone but listen i'm going to tell you guys why it doesn't matter and you know with these these neptunes remember batteries it comes like that with this this is an old phone it's a free phone you don't own any you don't owe anything on it you don't make any payments on that phone is sim it's simply a free phone. It has a headset for all you guys that like to drive and talk. And of course, it has the charger. The charger with the adapter. Right? Standard. Now, this is the stuff that comes free. I took and I poured it over everyone's phone. So I got a number of these SIM cards. I put it over my phone and my two children's phones. Got these different SIM cards. And just in case the SIM cards don't act right, they give you additional SIM cards, right? Just in case it's, it's crazy, which I didn't experience anything crazy like that. So that's what comes in the box. I want to show you guys that. Now, the reason why I say don't let this this, I call it an old school phone because it has a battery that you could take in and out. Some people like that, some people don't. Don't let that bother you because you don't have to get a free phone. You can port over the phone that you have. So my son and my daughter, they're iPhone users. I don't like iPhones. My son and my daughter are iPhone users and they're keeping their iPhones. The only thing I have to do is get to their phone and then switch it through the Sims. And then it goes right over to the figures communication. That's the only thing I have to do. I didn't come on here earlier because I wanted to use the phone. Now, this is this is the phone I have. My number's already ported over. So everybody who has my number, y'all can hit me on my cell phone. So y'all can see how I sound on the figures. But nonetheless, here's what I like about it. Here's what I like about it. Make sure y'all share the video because we got to get as many people as possible off of these other networks. Okay, we got to get them off of these networks. I like the customer service. Now, maybe because I got a direct line. One of my peoples over here on Facebook, um, Devin Mickens, that's his name, Devin Mickens. He's a cool dude. He supports black businesses all the time. He and I are like funny. We got the same type of personality. I love Devin. He told me about Sarum over at customer service. So he gave me her cell phone number or her office number, her direct line. So when I say I like customer service, I want you to know that I did not go through the 800 number. So some people may be going through the 800 number, but that's why it's important for us to all network, right? So that we can refer each other directly to people so we can get that different type of service. And the company is still small enough that you can do that. 
So I went right over to Sir, to Sarah. The minute I said Devin's name, she knew who he was. She gave me nothing but love. I didn't have any problems with her. She totally understood everything that I was doing. I had a thousand and one questions because I am that kind of person. And Sarah answered all my questions before I forked over my, my um, credit card number. So Sarah made me feel comfortable. Why I switched? I switched because of the affordability. Well, I switched because I wanted to just get off of um, the white man's network. <laughs> That's why I really did switch. But also, oh, the affordability. The affordability is really, really good. It's affordable. I got four lines. Four lines for $120. On my Verizon bill, I had two lines for $160. Let me say that again. I got four lines for $120. On my Verizon bill, I had two lines for $150. That's a no-brainer for me. The portability. You can port over your current phone. You do not have to go to their phone. You don't have to go to their phone. You can port over the phone that you have. So if you have an iPhone, keep it. If you have a Droid, keep it. The only thing you need is a, a SIMS card. But I am going to tell you this. If you are making your payments on your phone, then that means that your phone is locked. And if your phone is locked, you will not be able to leave your network until you finish paying that phone up. I was able to take all my kids off because we don't own, we don't owe anybody any money for any of our phones. Our phones are not locked. So if you are one of those people that like to get new phones all the time and you're always going to the, the company and you're getting phones through them, chances are you're making payments on that phone. And what these companies do, they stretch out the payments for two years. So you're probably paying on these phones and you're not gonna be able to switch it and then you'll get like one of these phones, like a free phone. So that's important for you to know. For me, it was a smooth transfer of services. Somebody hit me up in my box and they told me that um, they, they let me see a review. And the guy said it took him 45 minutes to an hour to get over to the network. That was not my experience. Let me tell you something. When I called um, Sarah, she did it on the phone with me. I was transferred in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I guess everybody's going to have a different experience. It did not take me 45 minutes to port over. In terms of... Uh, the, the speed of the, the, the receipt of the phone, I got my phone. She told me two days, two days, three days. I got in exactly what she said. So I did not have to call around to see what happened to my phone on my SIMS cards. Everything came exactly what she said. So those are the things that I like. What I dislike, now let's talk about the dislikes. Now, um, yeah, so... What I dislike is what I experienced today. What I experienced today is the lack of availability. So when I was calling in today to port my phone over, I was calling Sarah's direct line and I couldn't get her. And I was calling the 800 number and I couldn't get anybody. And so, you know, I just woosa and I took a deep breath because, you know, I didn't want to go on to that rant that many of us do. When we, we want to blame black businesses for everything, right? And we start getting nasty and we start ranting. I didn't want to do that. And I said, you know, there's got to be a reason for it. So two hours later, I decided to go on Facebook. And I inboxed them on Facebook. And I was like, I just switched over. I'm trying to get my phone connected. I can't reach anybody. This is kind of disappointing. And immediately, somebody hit me back and then asked me for a line for them to call me. So I did like that. So even though I disliked the fact that today... I was calling, ready to go. I couldn't get anybody. And then when I spoke to Sarah, she said to me, she's been trying to call me because she saw my number come up on her screen and she was trying to call me back. But she was right. So I'm not going to take any shots at them because I had removed the SIM card out of my Verizon phone thinking that I could put that in my, my figures phone and I couldn't. And when she was calling my Verizon phone, it had no SIM card in it. So she couldn't reach me. So, you know, all is forgiven. I dislike the type of phone that they give. This is a booty phone, right? It's free. It's a booty phone because it's not my type of phone. When you're coming from a, a Samsung that the, the, the picture is on point, the definition of the phone is on point, this one isn't. However...
the F3, the F3 that comes out this month, I heard is the bombdiggity.com. And I know people that have the F2 and they like the F2. So that's all I really have to say. I want to do some more research. Annetta, Annetta Lynn's saying it doesn't have proper coverage here. Now I want to talk to that. Yes, Tamika. Tamika saying, did you get did you get to keep your same number? Yes, Tamika. My number is the same. I put all my apps that I had on, all my numbers, my contacts have been ported over because I have a Google Drive and everything just downloads. So all my apps are back on here. Everything is back on here. So I don't have to worry about anything really. So um, I have the same number and you will have the same number too. Somebody is talking about, yes, Paul, you are overpaying. Is Della saying Verizon is too high? I'm looking to switch. What type of data plans they offer and cost? Okay, so what type of data plans? There are three or four different data plans. You have the 15 data plan, which is a very simple plan. You got to go to the website, figures.com. You got a 40 data plan, which is unlimited data, unlimited text, unlimited talk, and it's for one line. That's $40. Then you have the family plan which is up to four lines, unlimited talk, unlimited data, unlimited text, and that's $120. Then you have the Globe Trotter, which you have access to different countries as well. And that one I believe is $165, unlimited everything as well. So that's important for you to know, but go to the website, figures.com. It'll give you all the information you need. Like and follow them on Facebook as well. Figures, I think it's F3 on Facebook. Okay, so yes, what else is somebody saying? Somebody made the tour of the website and somebody has already posted the website. Yes, so go to figures, F-I-G, y'all already know because y'all were snapping on a name, so y'all already know how to spell it. But for those of us who wasn't snapping on his last name, it is F-I-G-G-E-R-S.com. Go ahead over there, make a tour. It's a nice website, very interactive. Um, I like it. What other question I have? Is is like that a lot of companies now you can email business while waiting on the phone? Yes. Okay. What if you pay the phone off? Can you use the phone for this network? Yes. So Francis, if you have already paid off your phone, then that means your phone is unlocked and you can just bring it over to this network. They will mail you a SIMS card. You put the SIMS card in, you'll call them when you get the SIMS card and they will port everything over. For me, it only took 10 minutes for me because my phone is completely unlocked. I owe nothing to anybody. I own my phone. So for me, 10 minutes, I got ported over. So if you have an unlocked phone and you don't owe anything, go ahead and do it. What other questions am I getting in here before I get up over here? Uh, anybody else? Okay, so that's all so far. I was going to tell you guys one more thing. I'm trying to think because I really want you guys to know this. Oh, so here's the thing that I'm not understanding. And I don't want you guys to go quote me on this. Don't be like what Dr. Shauna said, because I'm researching and I just did a quick research today, which it was very cursory. I just looked at it real quick and I said, I got to come back to it. I got to go really, really in depth. But here's what I'm going to say. When I got this Sims card and I put it in, it said T-Mobile Network. Now, I don't know if you guys have T-Mobile where you guys live at, but it said T-Mobile Network. So I used to work for AT&T many, many moons ago when I was in my 20s. So this is over two decades ago. I used to work for AT&T. This is a SIM card. You plop this off and you put this little thing inside of your phone. And when I put it in, it said T-Mobile. Now, when I used to work for AT&T, I know we used to resell our broadband. We used to resell some of like access to our towers and stuff. So I'm not sure if Mr. Freddie figures and somebody else can look this up for me and let me know. I'm going to do my research. I'm also gonna, I'm going to also contact him if he wants to talk to me. Great. If not great as well, but um, I'm not sure if they resell it. And if they are reselling T-Mobile, that is not a bad thing. And here's why I'm going to say that because it gives you reliability of the network. And my daughter has T-Mobile. I don't have T-Mobile. I have Verizon. And my daughter never had problems anywhere she went with her T-Mobile, wherever she went. And 
T-Mobile on their website, they claim that they have the fastest 4G LTE network. My daughter has never complained. I have never had a call dropped with my daughter. Now, there's some places I have gone with my Verizon phone where my phone, even though it didn't drop, it was choppy because I only had one bar. Whereas my daughter, I'm speaking to her, she's crystal clear. So I don't know if it's because my daughter, she's in, she lives in New York. And I don't know because New York City has everything there. I don't know if that's why she's able to hear everything. I don't know. But that's important. Another thing about T-Mobile that's important is they are in 140 plus countries and destinations around the world. So that is excellent as well. For me, I'm a cruiser. So whenever I leave the country and I go on my cruises, I would like to be able to access my network whenever I touch down. I know with Verizon, I just had the call to let them know I was leaving the country and they opened up my my services so I can be able to access calls throughout the country. I will see if this happens with the same thing. And I will also call Sarah tonight because I've got a port over my son's phone. When I call Sarah, I'm going to see if I can access this in other countries too. So this is just only part one of my review. I will get back to you guys again. I also know that T-Mobile covers 99.7% of Americans compared to Verizon, right? So that's not bad. 99.7% when they're comparing it to what Verizon does, that means that T-Mobile is right up there. And the only other thing I do not like, I forgot this, is T-Mobile does not offer hotspots. Therefore, Figures does not offer hotspots on the phone. You will have to buy a separate device for hotspot services. Now, for those who don't know what hotspot is, like I am a, a, an instructor, I'm an educator and I go out, I do workshops, I train communities, I train professionals, I train businesses, I go out there and I do um, workshops. So every now and then I go to a location that does not have Wi-Fi and I will use my cell phone for a hotspot so that I can be able to hook my laptop up to it and be able to run the videos and stuff I need for my trainings that I do for people. Now, I can buy a hotspot through figures if I want to. So somebody like me that uses my hotspot every now and then, it doesn't matter to me. But if you need a hotspot, it doesn't offer a hotspot. So you have to go buy it. That's why I think, do not quote me on this. That's why I think he might be reselling off of T-Mobile because they don't offer a hotspot as well. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Another thing I'm going to say to you guys, and then I'm out. I'm looking at the question. I want to make sure I get it. Everybody's questions before I leave. So Sherry is saying it's definitely a resale. Henry is saying it sounds like a resale too. I think it is a resale. I think it's a resale. So Nick is saying it's true. T-Mobile has better service. My Verizon service used to drop in both my home and when I traveled throughout my town. Okay. So Paul is saying we have hotspots and personal Wi-Fi. Paul, what phone company are you with? So Sherry is saying she has T-Mobile and she has hotspot capabilities on her phone. Hmm. Okay, so Valerie's saying they have hotspot. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe they ain't got no hotspot for resellers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that that's interesting. This phone, I didn't see a hotspot. Maybe the F3 is going to have a hotspot. When I get my F3 in this month, I will let you guys know. So like I said, don't quote me on it. I'm just going from the what I saw really quick when I was researching. But if he is reselling off of T-Mobile, that's a good thing. Because as far as I know, in 2010, I believe, I mean, I think this brother is dope. I got three minutes and I'm out, guys. I think this brother is dope. So he's worth looking into. He started when he was 10 years old. Okay, working, like he took apart a computer and put it back together on his own at 10 years old. At 13, he was working at an internet company. Right. So he was already doing all this stuff at 13. He also is he has like nine patents, if I'm not mistaken, nine different patents. He has the FCC license. So he sells you services for your home as well because he has an FCC spectrum license. That's major. 
And I know in 2010, he acquired a tower. And I don't know how many towers he has. I don't know if he only got one or many. So if he owns one tower, then that means that he is reselling. And the reason why I said that, because one tower is not going to give you service all over the place. I know this from when I used to work for AT&T. And this is, this is like, okay, again, I worked for AT&T two decades ago, but at that time, Verizon and AT&T was smashing everybody. There was little companies that was popping up, but we were eating everybody at that time. So um, if he is reselling, that is a good thing. That's all I have for you guys. I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. So Kay is saying I have Metro powered by T-Mobile and having a hotspot. Awesome. So maybe it's just this phone. So I'm glad you guys have a hotspot. That means that when I get my F3, my F3 is probably going to have a hotspot. Because this phone don't got a hotspot. So I ain't doing no damn wor workshops with this phone. I'm going to have to bring along another device or something. But that's it. I don't have anything else to offer you guys. Let me go. I will have more information for you guys a little later when I try it out. Give me like a few weeks. Maybe like, give me the month of May. In June, I'll come back and I'll let you know how I really feel about it. I'll tell you how I really feel. And those who have my number, give me a call so you can tell me how I sound. Tell me how it sounds on the other end. Love you guys. Make the switch. You got to talk about it, then be about it. Don't be like Black-owned, Black-owned and sharing all this Black-owned stuff, which we love to share too, but don't be buying nothing Black-owned, right? Don't, don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hater and don't get caught up on the brother's last name. If you are securing yourself, you ain't going to let that phase you. I don't want to hear y'all playing nigga, 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 nigga in the car and be bopping to it in a club, dancing to nigga, 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 but don't have a cell phone. Don't be corny as hell. All right? Go on out. Get your phone. Don't be corny. I love you guys. Speak to you soon.